Praise the Lord. This is Dr. C. Dexter Wise the third. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his gladness. So they read in the book in the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. And Nehemiah, which is the Tirshatha, and Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites that taught in the people, said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Mourn not nor weep, for all the people wept when they heard the words of the Lord. That's Nehemiah chapter 8, verses 9 through 10. This whole thing started off sad. In the 8th chapter of Nehemiah, the scribe Ezra is reading the book of the law in public to the people of Israel. When they hear it for the first time, their first reaction is to be sad. Here's what the scripture says. All of the people wept when they heard the words of the law. What is it about hearing the word of God that can make a person sad? Hearing the word of God can make you sad that you had never heard it before. Many of these people had spent the bulk of their lives in Babylonian bondage, far away from the house of God and the word of God. These fresh and life-changing words were brand new to them and they wondered why somebody hadn't told them about the law before. Then hearing the word of God can make you sad that you finally heard it and now you know that you've been disobedient to it. The good news was that they finally heard the word. The bad news was that upon hearing the word, they realized how far out of line they were with it in their lives. And then thirdly, it made them sad because you're convicted by it. When you hear the word of God, it's one thing to recognize that your life is out of line with the word of God. It's another thing to be sorry about that and to be convicted by it. Conviction comes from a heart that understands that it's not right with God and yet desperately wants to be.